The mother of a Colorado Springs woman found dead may not be able to attend the trial of the man accused of killing her. Carrie News Channel 13's Annabelle Tilders spoke with a Colorado Springs attorney to help understand what's ahead for that mom. Annabelle. Bart Heather, the back and forth with the U.S. consulate in Hong Kong, where Jebsi Kalungi's mother lives, all started in 2019. That's when Jebsi Kalungi disappeared from Colorado Springs. And then her husband, Dane, was charged with her murder two years later. Since Jepsi Kalungi's disappearance, her mother Margie Amaga has submitted four visa applications to get here. She hopes to search for Jepsi and attend Dane's trial, but all of those visa applications were denied. And last night, she just she just bawled. She just cried. It just broke her heart that we we've tried so many times and and she just keeps getting denied. Three years ago, Jepsi's mom reached out to Brittany Hartman, who works to help find missing Coloradans. Thousands of miles apart, Brittany became the connection for Jepsi's mom from Hong Kong to Colorado Springs. I have been going to the hearings for her mom um, and helping her get on Zoom and all of that kind of stuff. Colorado Springs immigration attorney Amber Blasengame says the biggest hurdle in a situation like this is proving the applicant does not have an intent to reside in the United States. And that's the exact reason the U.S. consulate in Hong Kong denied Amaga's application this week. Unlike um, our criminal justice system, um, you know, when an applicant goes into a U.S. consulate or applies um, for admission at the border, they're usually guilty. Uh, they're usually um, considered guilty until proven innocent. And once the application is denied for that reason, Blasengame says consulates rarely give applicants a second chance. The 4th Judicial District Attorney's Office tells us that one of their advocates is working with Jepsi's mother through this process. But right now, it's unclear if Amago will make it here in time. Reporting live in studio, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13. Annabelle, thanks.